Well, that's the smooth harmonies of the Four Seasons, or at least the actors playing them in the National Arts Centre's latest production. Jersey Boys is a behind-the-scenes look at the band that dominated the pop charts in the 60s and 70s. And one of the main stars is an Ottawa boy, too. Nicholas Dramart plays Four Seasons guitarist Tommy DeVito. And while Dramart was born and raised in the capital, Jersey Boys marks his first performance in his hometown. Uh, I was going to say um, Nicholas... Uh, joins me in studio. I was going to use your your stage name, but no, no. Let's go with Nicholas. Your first visit, your first show back in your hometown. Yeah, That's yeah. My first professional show. I've been, you know, on Broadway in Toronto and on four national tours, and this is the first time that I actually get back to Ottawa to perform for my home crowds. So no, it's no just, nerves though. So yeah, no, once you've done no, Broadway. <laughs> no, actually, I was was more nervous performing here because all my friends, like high school friends, and 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 my parents are both. They come to see me everywhere, but my parents are coming. And they've come many. times. <laughs> Times are coming again. Uh, just being being here and like you know having p- my peers come and see the show. You know, in New York it's great, it's fantastic, but it's mostly you know, tourists. Strangers. You know, exactly, strangers. But here I have my Facebook you know account was blowing up with friends. <laughs> oh, I just saw the show. Or I'm coming tomorrow. And blah blah blah. We'll see you at the stage door, and it's it's nerve wracking, but it's it's so wonderful. I haven't seen the show yet, but I I have friends who have, and and they're raving about it. They really enjoyed the night out. Sweet. For people who haven't seen it, what what happens in Jersey Boys? Well, it's this incredible story, a true story of uh, this rags to riches, these four guys from Jersey, from the ghetto of Jersey, you know, Newark, who um, are trying to get out of, of, their, of the city because of the, the crime. You know, they, there's three ways out. You can join the army, you can get mobbed up, or you could become a star. And so it's their, uh, their way out uh, is to become stars. And so it's this wonderful story of them creating the four seasons and finding their sound and their, and their story. And eventually it's the rise and fall of the group. You know, there was some mob activities, there was some, uh, you know, th- marriages and, and broken marriages. So it's this incredible story on stage that we put on every night. And your character, as I mentioned, Tommy DeVito, who yeah. is he? He is the guitarist. Tommy DeVito is actually the guy who started it all. Like when you see the show, it's told, you know, four in, in four acts, and, uh, four ver- all the guys tell their stories. And so Tommy DeVito is spring and he really, he says, this all started because of me. And so he's <laughs> the one who held it all together. He found Frankie Valli. He put Bob Gaudio in, you know, so it's, uh, that's his character. Now you're French Canadian. Yes, I am. You're playing an Italian American character. That's right. Does that pose any? particular challenges? Do you have to sort of channel De Niro? Or what, what, are, you, what are you doing to get there? Uh, I, I worked with a, a dialect coach. Actually, okay. there's a dialect coach that works with everybody in the in the cast because we have to get that New Jersey accent. So it, uh, it, yeah, it was a couple hours of going through the whole script and really uh, getting the pronunciation of every word. You, you can slide into that in this interview if you, if you wish. Give us a <laughs> I'll taste. Try. I'll try. <laughs> uh, Tommy DeVito, I didn't. This came as news to me. He's still alive. Yes, he is. He just celebrated his eighty fourth birthday a couple weeks ago. Is it difficult to play someone who's you know around to judge you? <laughs> well, what's so wonderful is, is our director Des Makinoff really made sure that we're not impersonators. You know, we're not we're we're actors playing characters in a show. So it's not like we're trying to imitate or impersonate Frankie Valli or Tommy DeVito or anybody like that. You know, so it's uh, we're really putting our own touches and flares and 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 choices to these characters as opposed to being like, okay, let's study them on TV and make sure that they we do exactly what they do. Has he seen the performance, do you think? He loves he loves the show. He comes on Broadway like once every 3-4 months. And so yeah, he's seen he was the the, the three remaining living uh, members of the seasons came to the opening night of Jersey Boys on okay. Broadway. So in in your Tommy DeVito, your best New Jersey accent. What would his reaction be to your Tommy DeVito? <laughs> hey, this Canadian guy is good. Yeah. <laughs> he's good. I I I, I like to see him again. <laughs> Give me a sense of how you got from here to there and back again. What was the journey? Uh, well, I grew up dancing here in Ottawa since I was six years old. I went to the Greg Leeming Studio, and then I also studied voice and did community theater. When I was 18, I left home. I was uh, planning to go to University of Ottawa and, and music. I played the flute and the piano and drums and everything. And so um, I was planning to go to university, but I went to New York and got a, I got a job. I got hired to do the Rockettes Christmas show. So I did that, came back, and got into West Side Story at the Stratford Festival wow. in, uh, in Stratford. And then I did Mamma Mia in Toronto. That went on tour uh, in the States. And while in the States, I went to New York City to audition for a show, uh, Oklahoma, which I got. And then I was in New York for a couple of years, came back to Toronto to do Hairspray. 
Glory for a year in Toronto. Then went back on tour with Wicked. Then I did Mary Poppins wow. and Wicked all over the place. And uh, finally, uh, I finished Mary Poppins March 3rd. My agent called saying, hey, they're looking for Tommy DeVito for the tour. You want to come on audition? So I went, sure. And after five auditions, I got the part. And then they gave me the schedule for the tour, and I saw Ottawa. I'm like, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada? Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes, I'll do this. I have a place to stay while yeah, I'm in town. Yeah, my mom and dad. <laughs> Are you based in New York City? Yes. yes I am, What's yeah. it like living there for an uh, Ottawa boy? It's wonderful. I love the energy. I've always had too much energy for my own good. And so uh, just to be able to, to swim in that stream and then just jump out when I can and take a breath, it's, it's so amazing. That Night. constant pulse and this heartbeat in the city. You mentioned that your parents and your friends and your Facebook and your old, your old buddies, will your dance instructors and fellow uh, actors and, and elementary school friends be in the audience as well? Yes. Oh, definitely. Yep. My dance teacher, the owner <laughs> of the studio I went to, was in the audience last uh, two nights ago. She's coming again on Friday and Saturday. And Yes. Are you tempted to sort of tip your hat? Yeah, I wanted to bring a Canadian flag out yes. for the bows the other day. I was like, Canada Day, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Nicholas, it's such a it's such a pleasure to have you here in studio, and I really encourage folks to check it out. All the re- all the reviews have been so wonderful. Yeah, so. thank you. Thank you it's been for a coming. Pleasure being here. here. Nicholas Dramart was born and raised here in Ottawa. He's starring in the musical Jersey Boys, which is currently playing at the NAC. The show, of course, tells the story of the Four Seasons, and you have until boy July seventh. Time's running out, so check it out.